Greetings everyone. Welcome to my devlog on creating a 3D pixel art engine on top of Unity. Today I want to discuss the process of creating water for 3D pixel art, but many of the principles can be translated to use real water implementations as well. My features for water include transparency, tint, distortion, reflections and outlines which I will cover here in order. These are combined in a shader graph for Unity and can be placed on a plane to simulate water. The water starts out as a blank plane. To calculate the tint on the water, we need the opaque texture to see the objects behind it. This forces us to render the water in the transparent cube. In Unity, we can set the universal render pipeline settings to calculate this opaque texture for us, and we can access it in the shader graph like this. To apply a tint, we simply have a variable color and use a blend function to combine the colors. The result looks something like this. However, water like this looks quite dull and it lacks life. Distortion on the texture provides wave-like movement and bending of light to give it a more vibrant look. This effect is achieved by using a texture that looks like this. There are other versions of these and you could even make your own, but this one is from Catlike's coding tutorial which I will link below. This texture is used to offset the sampling of the opaque texture. The colors on the texture work as directions, and we can see the wave-like pattern on the texture in effect here. The effect can be scaled with speed and direction. I enjoy the quite slow and mellow feel of water, and it seems to work quite well as background for gameplay. After these two effects, the water looks a lot better, but we can further improve on it with reflections. One of the cooler effects that water can have is to show real-time reflections. This gives the water some pseudo-reality. The planar reflections require a rendered view from under the water. This view is mapped onto our plane in reference to our view. The reflection probe requires some trigonometry to calculate. And here I refer to Rafael Bordoni's video, who has done a better job at explaining it than I can. In short, Another camera is positioned directly beneath the main camera, under the water plane, the same distance away, pointing up. This camera renders us a texture to use for reflections. With this texture, we sample it in shader graph like this, to get the correct projections with orthographic cameras. Drawing the foam outlines onto the water plane also needs some special considerations, as the plane is considered transparent. Because it is transparent, we don't have an easy depth texture for us to access, as we did for outlines for opaque objects discussed in the previous video. These outlines use the depth texture under the water and the distance to the water plane above to calculate the distance relative to the main camera. We use the difference between these distances and a threshold value to determine if the foam should be drawn. If the water is shallow enough under the threshold, the outline is drawn. The outline texture looks like this. For pixel art, it is really difficult to calculate pixel perfect outlines for transparent textures. I'm planning to toy around a bit with the distance calculation, but I haven't got around to it yet. In the end, this texture is stepped and blended with the main texture using a color for the foam. Considering performance, the overhead of additional cameras makes me dissatisfied as there seem to be easier solutions for other render pipelines. I added the option, however, to disable these reflections, which should reduce the performance cost of water, while it should still look good. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and have some idea how you could implement this yourself. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them down below. If you are interested in following the progress of this product, like and subscribe.